Billy's mom is fairly susceptible to seizures. Not again, not again, not again. She wants to open them too. Oh. Look at your babies. You did so good. They're so good. Should I spill the beans what we're gonna do eventually? Yes. Good morning. It is Sunday. Yesterday, I just, Jess went downhill really quick yesterday, so we just sort of stayed quiet and near the house. These little kids have been on the uh, nanny, but she's only been supplying water. She has not had the milk replacer since they, we had our big leak a couple weeks ago here. Um, but I was waiting to do their final vaccine, or uh, antitoxin vaccine. Um, so I thought, well, today I have time. Finally, I have time. So I, uh, I just disconnected it. I've got the nanny shut off. I'll probably move her yet today. Likely this week is the big week of sort of starting to uh, do some weaning and some moving. I'd like to move my ewe lambs over here, emptying that pen out. If I can clean it, that'd be great. I was sort of just trying to time it when our manure guys were here, um, but it just might not happen. But today is chores. And then I think Mark is uh, working back at the cabin today, so I might join him for that. Ladies. Hello. Hungry? Yes. All right. So uh, last week, uh, early last week actually, we had another little episode with Billy's mom. I had video, I had filmed it, uh, and it was included in my last video, and I took it out because there just wasn't enough room for it, and I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, Billy's mom is fairly susceptible to seizures and the last one uh, was actually in the barn in the w winter. I haven't seen her have one ever since um, and I did talk to my vet at the time about it. He said there's nothing you can do. She's just, she's just susceptible to them. So yeah, I did witness it the other day. I actually, I'm starting to wonder if it's, she gets very excited because it's always around when I'm feeding them. And it's also if I change the schedule a little. So that day I cleaned the barn first and then I came over and did chores. So it was like early, oh, was it? Or no, it was like three o'clock. So it was later in the day when I fed the gray. And so I, I wonder if because I was off schedule, she went a little, she got really excited and she just really wanted the grain. And um, she had a little episode. Who's mom? Oh gosh. Not again, not again, not again. Oh honey, it's okay. It's okay. Come on girl. You're okay. You're okay. You're good. Are you good? Are you back with us? The other thing I wonder is, I wonder if they lose their vision for just a wee little bit because she always tries to find a wall or something to like lean against or hit and then she'll stay there until she like composes herself again. She seems, she's been good ever since. She's limping still a little bit. I have been treating her and Ruby. Ruby's really responded to the Medicam so I've been able to get away with like giving her one or two shots a week. So that's really good. She's eating really, really well, but she's getting really skinny. So I just wonder if the time is closer than I am comfortable with for her. It's never good when my sheep get skinny, typically. I keep forgetting to tell you, we've had, a, we've had some things sort of brewing, uh, not brewing in a bad way. Well, 
hopefully not in a bad way. We were talking with the Bright Span guys uh, late winter. If you remember, we lost that half of the roof here um, in 20, winter 2019. I think that's when it was. And I noticed here last summer that we're starting to get some sun damage on the dyed like the the brown part of the tarp so the tarp is white but the trim is brown like dark brown and I just noticed I didn't know if it was sun or like it just looks like it's been stretched and we have a few like like I can see daylight through it so I was starting to stress out uh, last summer about it last fall he has taped a couple pieces with really heavy duty tape and it's held really really well That's sort of where it's taped up and around there you can see some daylight where it's stretching on that trim piece. But he did come in the spring, him and another guy, and you know, they said, do you want us to come and re-tarp this end of the barn? And Mark and I have been talking about it for a while, and we we're like, yes, we want to do it when it's like under our control and not Mother Nature's. So, because the last time was so traumatic, like it is so traumatic. Uh, I had ewes that were due like that week, and they were all squished to that to this end because that end had no ceiling. They're indoor sheep, they don't, they didn't like the sky at all. Um, it rained, it snowed, like free, it was freezing rain and then it snowed. It was just, it was absolutely horrid. I'm super traumatized by it. So uh, they dropped off the tarp here on Thursday morning before I had to take just to chemo. So it's ready to go. We've just been sort of playing by the weather uh, which is so like rain every third day like that's why our hay is still not cut So I have a funny feeling the day we cut hay is the day We're gonna see these guys come and start working on this roof So that's the other reason I really want to get these lambs out of here because they are going to freak out When they start to do work on this this ceiling roof Came back to the cabin to see what mark was working on uh i guess he's making it was the original trail into this area from our field um i think he wants to make it the main lane or access again so he's oh he's got his excavator out and he's i think he's literally just making work projects um but it's starting to look very very nice back here very, very nice. We still haven't done anything since the last time you saw it. Uh, but this little area here is going to be the new fire pit area. Um, I just nicely got chores done and uh, checked on Jess. She's not having a great day. So I think this is just the fallout from the five day chemo. She's so sad. She's just like, I'm done. I want to feel better. And I'm like, I know. At least this time we know there will be an end. Whereas when you're in in the throes of chemo, you just, you never know when it's going to be over. Good morning. We have some new additions to the farm. Uh, not really. They've just been waiting patiently for me to get my act together. We are missing two. Peta and Teddy are still in the pasture. You know what? I decided they may as well stay out there for a while. These guys aren't even going to get bred till like next winter. So there's no point. There's grass over there. And then I'll bring them over when it's time to get uh, their chlamydia vaccine. So that'll be, I think, about 
a couple months before breeding is to begin. So that's when I'll bring them over. Probably after harvest, to be honest. But they look good. Good little ewe lambs. And unfortunately, they're right beside the rams, so they might get moved yet again because I don't want any accidental escapees. I'm sort of in trucking mode right now, so I think what I'm going to do is take these bottle lambs over to their pen and get them sort of started today. Not as fun to do by yourself, but there's not too many. We are uh, rerouting a main tile, a uh, field tile here. Uh, it, the original one kind of cut this corner over here and there's a bunch of trees that have found their way into some other tiles. So we're sort of just rerouting some tile back here in, in the back corner of this, our, our home farm actually, where our cabin is. So that's what we're up to today, but bugs are bad. Good morning. I have my uh, trusty assistant back today after a very fun weekend of rain and beverages, <laughs> but she's good. Um, we are weighing our market lambs. This will be our second last week probably with this group. Uh, I'm gonna go down to 90 pounds plus. So I have a good load this week and there won't be many left because I wanna wean the other barn this week. So I wanna make sure there's room. So it might be a couple loads tomorrow, but we'll see what they uh, we'll see how they weigh up. Seventeen so far. Let's see. It's gorgeous. It's stunning, eh? Piper down. She wants to open them too. Girl. All right, I'm gonna run out and feed my creek grain and then I'll come back and help you open some. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? Lies. I guess I sort of took off on you guys this morning. We ended up with 67 lambs to get uh, shipped tomorrow. So I'm probably going to spend most of the day just going back and forth to the sales barn. We should be able to easily fit them on two loads. Always the week I want to wean, I always run out of creep grain. And for whatever reason, I think this weekend it got cool enough and these mamas are on the tail end of their lactation that these lambs have been just mowing down on this creep grain and we ran out yesterday. So the truck driver came today, thank goodness, like it is still warm and something about fresh feed. I don't know what it, it smells like bubble gum. I know that's weird. That's just the first thing I think of. Anyway, I gotta feed these guys. They're probably getting hungry. Yes. 
Yes. That's a lot. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday, which means it's uh, market lamb day. So we have our first of two loads. They loaded really, really well. It's just always hit and miss. Usually when I have help, they load no problem. And when I'm solo, yeah, uh, last night I decided to uh, chop la hair. She gone. So what do we think? Is it actually just lie? If you don't like it, just lie. I told Mark to do the same. All right, we'll talk to you guys when this whole two loads are done. The bottle babies are now all over in the other barn. Uh, you're probably asking why didn't I move these little ones when I moved the, the older ones. Uh, partly because I had just pulled out those nipples off the nanny. Even though it was water, it was still something that they probably had to transition off of. So I just made sure they were drinking full pails every day, which they have been since then. Which means they'll be good to get on the water. And also it gave the older ones a chance to get onto those water bowls and figure out the spigot and then they can train these little ones before the big mass disruption of this big group comes in tomorrow. So I have Carissa prepared at seven o'clock tomorrow morning when she gets here, we will tear everything down and get ready to wean this uh, summer lambing group. So that's pretty exciting. It's Willow's group, her lambs. She did so good. Those lambs look really, really good. I'm actually going through some footage right now putting some little shorts together, sort of going back in time with Willow and her story, and oh my, she was so little. She was so, so little. So to see her successfully lamb, like on schedule, she had twins her first go around, and she is gonna be weaning them here tomorrow, and they look really good, and she's been such a good hover mother the whole entire time. Like those lambs are always on her side. Where's your babies? Right. Is that them there? Number one, number two. Look at your babies. You did so good. They're so good. <laughs> nice baby. I remember to do something this time that I always forget to do. And whether this stays or not, I'm not really sure because it's just livestock paint. Uh, I painted the corners, three of the corners, I forgot to do the fourth corner, but three of the corners where the nanny was in hopes of sort of getting it close. It worked good here, so I'm hoping that we can repeat. But it also might be gone by the time I go to clean out this barn, which is going to happen, I'm not sure. We're going to wean first and then look at the weather app and try to make a decision. I love farming.
took the rest of the day to hang out with Jess. I'm sort of obsessing about bullet journaling. I want to get a little more organized. So I went to Michael's to see if I could find one. And I did find one, but I found nothing else. And then we got some books. We went to We had a very, Kohl's. very successful bookshop. We did have a good bookshop. We're in our book era. We got a booster juice. Delicious. This is a good view, actually. This is actually. Why, do we why not have we not done often? this the whole time? Anyway, so Jess and I are we? Should I spill the beans? What we're gonna do eventually? Yes, spill the beans. We have decided through this whole thing. She got me into reading, and I love it. Anyway, we might start a book club. We are starting. A book club. We are starting a book club, and this is gonna be the first book called Love. Theoretically. theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. We're gonna start a book club in September. Mm -hmm. So our plan on is on Jess's channel to pick a book every month. This month we're just gonna pick it for the club because we haven't started it yet. Mm -hmm. So anyways, we're gonna pick a book and then at the end of the month we'll do like a live stream mm -hmm. and we'll discuss the book and you guys can join if you want. And you can also say your thoughts in the live stream and yeah. It's gonna be fun. It is gonna be fun. And then once we get into it, at the end of the live stream, we can pick the next month's book. Yeah. If that makes that's sense. The, that's so, the deal. That's the We've idea. never done book club. We've never been a part of book club. So no, this, this is, is all the new. first. And the other two books I got was this one called Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Abby Jimenez. And this one is called Grayson's Vow by Mia Sheridan. I wanted to get the Archer Archer's Voice. Mm -hmm. Uh, but Jess has it and she gave it to her friend, so I'm gonna wait till she gets that back. Yeah, but this is the same author So I'm gonna read it. Yeah, I've actually never heard of Grayson's Vow, but it's, it sounds really good It sounded good. I don't know if it's like part of a series just, or what I like the feel of the cover. She has very nice covers. And Jess got some books. I was Really successful guys <laughs> So I got yourself. Final Gambit because it's finally out in paperback. This is the third book in the Inheritance game series and it's a really good series, and I just need to finish it, so I bought that. And then, uh, Olive, Olive Blake is this month's um, chosen author from Indigo, and so oh. it's 25% off all her books. So I bought one for my enemy, which this is the limited edition cover, and I love it. I'm really excited. It's like a modern Romeo and Juliet retelling. And then, this was the big honka. I got the whole Harry Potter series and I'm going to do a YouTube video on my channel at some point in the fall where I read Harry Potter for the first time because I've never read Harry Potter. I feel like that is a rite of passage. I can't believe I gave them away. I, I read all the Harry Potters and I, I gave them away. I just spent over $100 rebuying them. I feel really bad. And they're not the OG covers. I kind of like these covers. They're no, cute. I like the old ones. Okay, that's all you missed. Yeah, that's enough. I'm going to start journaling tonight. I'm going to try. I'll let you guys know. I started my bullet journal tonight. So don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> August. That's supposed to be a sunflower, but the flower is smaller than the petals, but whatever. To live for the hope of it all, of course. August. And I did the week we are currently in. So all the jobs that you guys have basically seen me do. And I did like a little list for work, like three things every day and three things for like home personal and then sort of like a week in advance, like all the jobs that sort of have to get done this week. All right. Are you ready for your uh, injection? You can see where I did it last time. Oh. oh god, Abzi. Just let it sit there for a second. Stop laughing. You're almost done. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Opportune time to laugh with a needle in your belly. There you go. <laughs> Bloody. <laughs> well, at least.
Kate's here laughing and she's crying. Good morning, we are weaning, if you hadn't heard. You keep them in for bacon. Uh, they're all sort of coming in. They are not happy with me. Um, I have moved the next group, the ewe lambs and the mature ewes. I've put them actually together. I usually don't do that until about a week or so before lambing. We're two and a half out now. I think um, there is reason behind it. <laughs> Potentially the, the back half of this roof might be off next week. I want the sheep be able to be able to move to the front. The last time the roof came, out, came off, which was winter, so I don't really blame them. They all sort of migrated to the front, or to the back where there was cover. So I want them to be able to, as much as possible, be able to kind of get under cover. <laughs> My besties are back together. I love, the, I love that they migrated together like right away. Because they were split up. Willow was in this pen and Red was in this pen. But they went right back together. So they are loud. They're gonna be loud for a bit, probably two days, two or three days, and across the road they'll be loud for a couple days too. The... I would like to finish the two series that I already started. I was looking at these. They're really good. I haven't read them yet, so you can't have them. But... That's fair. I love that Jess is now getting 
Everyone her cousin reading. into reading. She yeah. literally drove an hour and a half just to to trade books. books. It's the Library of That's Jess. Awesome. I don't have the rest of these books <gasps> available to you. Lauren, ha them. Lauren has them, and then I think I want to read them. they're done, and she's done with them, too. I still have them back yet. What about you? Yep. The route two. Um, one of them I have. I'm really confused on like what's gonna be this episode. Like Good morning. It is Friday. We have made it to the end of a fairly busy week. The uh, lambs, I should actually take these out so I can really hear them, seem to be okay. Carissa said they weren't making a whole lot of noise this morning. A bunch of them are already on the drinkers, so my little my little strategy has been working, just you know, gradually putting me, putting a few into the pen, getting them onto the water. Hello. What I'm struggling with a little bit, um, I have been plugging holes pretty consistently over this last group that was in here on my feeders. I'm I'm waiting for new ones. I emailed this morning to see where the status of that is. Uh, until then, I, s I have another hole. I gotta plug up on the back feeder. This is our culprit. Oh, and this, there's holes everywhere. Hello ladies, they're actually quiet, dare I say, they seem pretty quiet, hello, hello, oh. how are you so cute, you're just my baby, hi, want to say hi to everybody, how are you on day two, why do you like the dogs more than me, hi red, not my hair. Hey, gorgeous. Hi. Are you sleeping? What? Good. What came for you today? Oh, Princess Polly. Oh, Princess Polly. Princess Polly. They have nice packaging. corn across the road for our lovely little freshly weaned lambs. So I've convinced Mark to give me a hand and uh, fill our corn bin across the road. Mm -hmm. 